Okay, so hello. And today I want to talk with you about why this society is so messed up and how you can actually find happiness in your life. So I'm just gonna start with I'm grateful for God for giving me opportunity to be with Him, to do things with Him and just to live with Him in peace and in that calmness and in just love, you know, and in abundance because God is abundance. So, yeah, so I want to mention some facts about today's society and why I think it is messed up. So, to begin with, I want to start with relationships between people. So today, relationships between people is like the worst I've seen, I've seen in like all my life. Like, like I'm having like 20, I'm now 20 years old and from 2000s, I can remember just in 2004, like talking with people everywhere on on variety of different areas, including shops, walk site, or just a bus station, you know? And now just people are too self-observed. And this is, this is not good, you know? Yeah, it's good to be self-observed, but today, like, people are too self-observed, you know? So yeah, and uh, and that's why you know uh, many people are just too uh, egoistic, and that's why we cannot have some uh, natural and uh, clean relationships we had in past years, you know. And that's why our happiness is going lower because the main happiness of a person is to be talking with other person and it is relationship, you know? It is relationship with other person. It can be friend, your uh, your love or your parent, you know? And we are missing that. So this is um, one of the aspects why people are not happy today. So the second aspect I will not cover out is just it is just relationship love relationship you know people nowadays just can't understand what is love so what i'm seeing now is like people understanding love as like sex it's like doing some physical intimate stuff with other person and just getting pleasure out of it for a short period of time and then leaving it and then just leaving him just leaving and throwing him into the trash you know throwing him into the trash bin and just not looking back you know just looking for another woman or man you know like like nowadays like women feel like a prey and and men are hunting women like and uh, and the men just visualizing women as a prey as in something that we can just catch and you know and just use for their uh, just sexual or just pleasurable needs you know and this is really messed up because this is not a freaking real love it's this is just a freaking messed up relationship. So, yeah, like we can see, like you can see guys, I'm saying, I believe that you also can see like people from your class or from somewhere else, you know, just going to the partying and just then just using different psycho jelly, psychotropic uh, ingredients, just messing around with your brain and then just getting a getting and to freaking some girls you know and and 
just taking they taking girls to the home and just freaking them you know it, this is not it's not what makes you a man i'm saying you bro this is not a, that makes you man you know and this is the freaking sex epidemic i can see this is the sex epidemics right now I, what i'm seeing you know it's just so messed up like we can see in, in so much big countries that that freaking um, devastated mindset of people which are coming to relationships and just not caring about other person just getting from the inner side you know they're getting from the outer side and we can see like girls wearing some really really hot stuff you know like hot joggings or just some really good like some really thin leggings or some you know uh, something on the tops some hot tops you know and and then women just freaking you know they humanizes men uh, women just became uh, women just became sirens from the uh, sea stories you know we are uh, just uh, seamen traveling by ship and they so they see sirens who just um, really lust them, lust them and just uh, with, with their beauty you know and then men just lose their mindset they, they lose their values they lose their um, goals and discipline and they just put everything into that to get that one girl and just freak here, you know, and this is not a thing, this is not that makes you a real man, I'm saying you, I, I, I can say that, what happens, yeah, you, you get, you get to partying, or you just scroll down Tinder, you, you write some messages to the girl, you write a message, let's go, just, let's, uh, let's go today to that place, yeah, yeah, just you just then you just take her home, you know. But after that thing happens, there is really short time of pleasure, and what are you doing next? You are seeking other girl. I'm saying this is no doubt. This is really rare if that person just keeps if that relationship is keeping, you know, like for that. Uh, for one, if you freak a girl in 24 hours, you know, uh, of your relationship time, it's 10,000 times more likable that this relationship will end. So that's what I'm saying is only the real love matters and a real relationship uh, between... Uh, individuals so people just doesn't know today what is love and this is so frustrating for me this is so sad because people nowadays think that love is doing sex and this is so freaking primitive this is so primitive like are you some uh, monkeys which are just to, for their lust, you know, they think and they do, if they think and they do, no, the real individual, the real person, the real man, is that who is valuing other person by his inner peace, by his inner values, by his inner intellect by his inner mindfulness you know by his inner not physical intimacy you know it's it's not the physical things you know people became so freaking primitive people in today world became animals I'm saying you bro people in today's world just became animals I'm saying like 
Ooh, just think about that for a second. So now individual just thinks, I need money. And he goes and just do things for money, you know. Then he says, I, knew, I need sex. He goes on Tinder or to partying to get drunk and to fuck some girls, you know. It's not good. It's not good. So what I'm coming to is the long-term effects on the fat, you know. So if you go as a man from girl to girl to girl and as a woman, you can you go from man to man to man, your mindset is literally messed up, you know. Your mindset just goes broke because you are not in one relationship and then you are having something like a relationship ADHD where you can just cannot focus on one relationship because you always seeking for better pleasure. And this is so messed up. Just looking to another pleasure, to another pleasure, to another pleasure. We in this world just... I'm saying you, we in this world just live like our fuel is pleasure. We we see everywhere is pleasure. And and individuals nowadays understand that pleasure is the thing that you have to work on on getting, you know? It's not the case. It's so funny that people nowadays are becoming animals. Yeah, so many people just think like, I'm gonna make some money, I will become financially successful, and then my life is gonna be full of pleasure, and then I'll be chilling, you know. It's not the case, man. It's not the case that will make you happy. So what this effects will make you in your life, I'm saying you. You will get so disappointed one day by your life, and you will be so depressed about the past experiences you had, you know, because they are only short term fun. And in the long term, your soul is gonna burn and you're gonna feel so much suffering in your spirit, which is much, much harder and much, much just. just much much more sad than just having a long lasting relationship with other person so if you are having a relationship a long term relationship with your partner then it will be much enjoyable this relationship will be much more enjoyable, you will get much more good things out of it and you will be a long-term success and your brain will not be messed up. You will have one motivation. You will work for that woman, for that family, not for that pleasure. Because nowadays people are doing things to get some more pleasure. And this is not a good aim in your life because Pleasure is short term. What I'm saying to you is pleasure is short time. It lasts a short period, you know? It, it's just sex. It's like, you know, it's like a short time pleasure. It's a short time pleasure, but life is much harder than it looks, you know, and it should be really, really scarcely made, you know, and people doesn't understand this, you know, and, and you can say, like, that doing it is good for you, but you can try. You can try for for a week or maybe it will be a best if you try for one month just to avoid all that stupid trash 
which is in today's world, which is getting drunk, doing drugs, doing sex, doing alcohol, and just playing video games non-stop, you know, non-stop games, chasing that dopamine, like a dopamine addict, you know. If you just for one month, just eliminate all these things in your life, you can try, you will see that you will feel much, much better. Not only from your outside, but in your inside. And if you change that bad habits to good, you will be much more happy individual. So these habits can be like going to the gym, reading some really useful book, talking with new friends, like uh, like experiencing, practicing a religion, which can be whatever you choose to be believing in. And just listening to yourself and being in that peace. And that, you, that will make you much, much happier. Because I'm gonna say to you that this world is rigged. This world is a scam. This world is ruled by few guys on top, few billionaires, few multi-billionaires, no. We just control everything and we are puppets and we just... And this world is just created for you to be that puppet and to chase that dopamine. Yeah, that's, this is fun, this is fun but not focus on the real things, which will really make you a person, which will really boost your self-confidence, which will really make you empathetic person, which will make you stronger, which, is, which will make you more powerful, more intelligent, more spiritual, more mentally stronger. And you know, so this is the choice that you're making to give up to these puppets or to work for yourself, to do things for yourself and rule your life by yourself and not let other people change your opinions or perspectives about everything. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying to you, to just think about it for one second. Is this is my choice to live or I'm just being a slave to others and chasing that dopamine, doing sex, drugs, alcohol and just not growing. So this is what you have to choose. So, yeah, I really believe you will choose a better side, you will choose God and you will be as happy as I am today. And yeah, because I'm happy, because I'm living in that bright side. I'm not chasing dopamine. I'm working every day. I'm being disciplined. I'm doing stuff which makes me stronger. I'm investing. I'm getting better in, in various of aspects. So you can do, because we all have choice in this life. Many people don't understand this, that we have choice, we have a responsibility of our lives. It's 100% responsibility. You know? It's your responsibility, not ours, to choose what you believe in this life. You know? So be smart because. You will succeed if you will be smart and if you think for yourself and you be unique yourself. So yeah, that's what I'm encouraging you to do. And maybe it will help if it helped. So maybe you can leave a comment and we can make a discussion about some topic 
maybe you have something which is not which is questionable and you don't know what to do in that situation so maybe we can discuss and find the right perspective and uh, i believe that you will choose the bright side with me just being disciplined and being with god and just growing every day and just getting more and more girls attention by just being a top person you know just by being a bright person not that who wants to freak but that who wants to love in the long term so yeah make sure to leave a like subscribe and leave a comment we can just um talk around so yeah that's that's it for t from me uh, on today's from this week's um uh, videos i posted one about music so if you can watch it uh, this is the autumn music i made with my piano so so yeah maybe you like it so yeah and think that's it from me for today just think about this in your weekend and maybe we can chat together or you can join my family so peace out and i wish you a wonderful weekend